You ready to see the future of grocery shopping? A discount grocer is hoping to make buying groceries easier and cheaper for you. Dan Bowens is here to show us exactly how it's done. And Dan, it's being done with the help of robots? Yeah, you can see some of the robots moving around just behind me there at this warehouse. It's out in Brooklyn. Picture this. Groceries delivered faster than you could do a load of laundry. Cutting edge automation and high-tech robots filling that order, having it ready for delivery in just minutes. We had to test this unique micro-fulfillment center out in Brooklyn to test those robots. <laughs> A symphony of automation, a robotic orchestra, machines and algorithms harmonizing like well-rehearsed strings. We've got about 100 ground robots and about 25 lift robots in the facility. And the conductor of this mechanical ensemble, in many ways, that's your job, the customer. It's, it's amazing technology. Um, I can't even begin to really explain it in full. I just know it works. And it just might be the future of grocery shopping. So in all these containers, there's food or products That's or, right. I mean, you were talking about fresh strawberries to dishwasher soap? Strawberries to dishwasher soap to frozen bags of peas. We're inside a unique micro-fulfillment center in Brooklyn. Where Discount Grocer save -a -Lot is partnering with Fabric, Advanced Robotic Systems, and Uber Eats. Bob Duane is Director of New Business Development at save -a -Lot. Essentially, when a customer places their order on Uber Eats, it goes into the facility here, and uh, the technology knows exactly where that product is. And they bring this product right to the selector. Saving time and saving customers money for the company looking to make its first move into New York City. It gets us into, uh, into to the city in you know, an economical way and it's, it's in essence be able to pass those savings on to our customers. The prices that we've been able to introduce in the marketplace are typically anywhere from 20 to 30 percent cheaper because we're just doing it in a much more efficient way than you would be able to do it in a store format. Fabric VP of sales Jonathan Marav says the process starts when a Brooklyn-based customer places the order. We've built a system that understands precisely where every item that we in insert into the system where those items reside on the Uber Eats marketplace for sale. Then the machines go to work, gathering the items, some refrigerated, others frozen, bringing them all to an employee in front who bags them, getting them ready for delivery. Marav insists the automation is not a job killer. We've created 25 net new jobs in this facility since we opened. We had to test it out. You want to place an order now? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Set your address to 69 9th Street. Now search for the Save-A-Lot store. All loaded up. I went with an admittedly weird mix. Maybe I could stump those robots. Frosted flakes, potato chips, and floss. That sounds good. All right, a let's mix. put that in. You want to go see your order yeah, being picked? Yeah, yeah. But less than five minutes later, those items arrived to the front, bagged and delivered. This was like five minutes. So what do we got? Okay, I got my, I got my frosted flakes. flakes. Got some chips. I don't know why I ordered floss, but I ordered floss. Floss is a good practice, so. And uh, some jalapeno chips. This is not bad. You want a chip? Why not? Pretty good. All right, jalapeno chips, frosted flakes. What more do you want? Save a lot operates more than 800 independently licensed stores all across the U.S. and 32 states. This is the first location in New York City. Right now, you do have to be in Brooklyn to place an order. You can't be here on the Upper East Side to place one just to test it out. You gotta kind of head across the river there. But those changes could uh, come be coming soon as the technology advances. It really is. As soon as you walk, I was a little skeptical, Kurt and Rosanna, but right. when you walk in and you kind of see the wall of the, the, the machines moving and you hear them kind of humming around, it really it just kind of reminds me of a symphony when I walked in there. Yeah, well, it makes sense. Like you say, it's much more efficient. It knows exactly where the items are. So rather than, like when you go shopping, at least I do, yeah. you wander around, you're like, uh, where's the peanut butter and that kind of thing? I know, but then you find delicious chips and then you open the bag while you're walking what around. I got those jalapeno chips back here. So <laughs> I don't know where I put those. Did you place the order your kids you got jalapeno uh, chips I, and frosted I, I, flakes what, i don't know what i don't know what i'm doing i just did it fast but it's good uh, it worked all right <laughs> interesting you, to see thank you dad you got it